Got the ramps out right now, and we're about to show you guys how to load a mini excavator in a dump trailer the safest way. All right, so we bought these support jacks online. They're from PJ, but they didn't come with the trailer. If you want to order the, we didn't order the trailer, we got it in stock, but if, I'm sure you could order them with the trailer if you ordered the trailer through the dealer. But you pretty much need them so that when you're loading a machine in the trailer, it doesn't lift up the entire back of your truck. And we did that with our other trailer on Justin's truck and it lifted up the whole rear end of the truck and it started sliding forward. So it can be a little sketchy if you don't have these. So also when you're loading the machine, you wanna keep it a little bit off the ground because the trailer is gonna sit lower when the machine's in it, it's all the weight. But when you're unloading the machine, you can go ahead and drop them all the way to the ground because you're not gonna have the machine in it. And you can just easily push them back up. When he grabs the bucket, he likes to have those top pieces right in between thumb so they don't get bent and then just closes the thumb and curls it up they're gonna track over and go get lined up to load this up when we're loading up in the dump trailer we like to have the blade of the excavator in the back and the arm is also in the back, just so it is not taking up as much room because it is a tighter fit, 14, seven by 14 dump trailer. So we have the arm and the blade on the same side, so it's taking up a little less room. And then we'll just toss the bucket in the back after we're done strapping everything down. Tracks are lined up with the ramps. We like to close the door first because once you get in here, it's pretty tight and you won't be able to close the door. Should be able to close the doors like this. Just gotta take the ramps off, make sure we can close the doors before we strap it down. Otherwise, we'll have to unstrap it and move it again. Loading it in this low side dump trailer is a lot easier than our high side dump trailer over there. Just have a lot more room to close these doors. Otherwise, the other one, the doors would be up here and we'd have to put the machine a lot farther back and articulate the arm to make everything fit. So this is a lot easier and it's also lighter, better for towing this thing. Like to get the bucket in here before we start chaining it up. Otherwise we'll be lifting over the chain, which will be about the same height. as this D ring right here. It's just a little easier when you're loading it by hand. All right, so for this trailer, we had to buy the, this is why we bought the 3 chains. Horse over there. 
angry horse because the or we bought the 516 chains because the 36 3 8 chains wouldn't fit inside the d-rings on this trailer i'm not sure how most dump trailers are but for this trailer they don't and for that trailer it's the same but i think i think the 516 chains are rated for 5,000 pounds and the 3 8 are rated for 8,000 pounds each so with two chains for this machine weighs about nine nine thousand with the extended arm and the cab so So for in the dump trailer, we like to attach to part of the track over here because on the tilt deck, we usually attach to that pull point right there. But if we did that in here, it would, those chains would hit the track. So try and try and not do that. It causes more wear and tear on the tracks, could possibly rip them. So if you keep this down, it kind of keeps the tension from going away. And if you would pull it, it would twist a little. So if you keep that down, keep the angle tight. You can wrap up your slides if you want to. If not, it's not going to go anywhere. Yep, John Deere's are nice because they have nice, convenient uh, tie down places on their machines. Things loaded up, strapped down nicely. All good to go for our delivery early in the morning tomorrow. Obviously, need to check everything one more time before we head out. But this is how you load an excavator in a dump trailer. The best way. <laughs> 